Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Ascot. It's the first day of the flat season here at Ascot. And in my opinion, I'm sure yours, one of the greatest race courses in the whole world, that's Ascot. Today, the feature race, of course, is the 245C Longines Segoro Stakes. And it uh, welcomes back the three times Gold Cup winner, Stradivarius, from the John and Thady Gosden Yard, ridden again, of course, by Frankie de Torre. This one's going to start at odds on. So I'm just going to let you enjoy him win, hopefully, but give you three selections for the day. My first selection runs in the one o'clock. It's the Women in Racing Manny Mercer Handicap. It's over um, Apprentice Race over a mile straight. And there's a horse that loves the track. He's turned up here six times. He's won two. He's been placed uh, in all his other runs. He was second in the Murray Chandon, and that was the Heritage Handicap uh, last season. And fourth in the Buckingham Palace Stakes at the Royal Meeting. Trained by Jamie Osborne, ridden by his daughter, Safi, who claims five pounds off him. Horse number one, Cliffs of Capri. And I think it's going to be a decent price. And I think this one, what beats it, wins. So best of luck betting on our, hopefully our first winner in the one o'clock. That's number one, Cliffs of Capri. My second selection runs in the 135, and this is the Royal Ascot two-year-old trial condition stakes race. It's a two-year-old race. There's five runners going to post. Three of them have run and won, and two of them have never run. Looking at the form of the uh, three winners in the race, I feel that horse number two, Gubas, is the biggest improver. He looks to me like he'll love the faster ground. And the way he won at Leicester the other day, I must say, he was really impressive. A lot of Richard Hans' horses often just need their first run. This one won readily. The third horse came out and won at Salisbury, which I'm always looking for in races. Horses that come out and win behind them. And this one, I think, will take our second race on the card, the 135. That's number two, Gubas. My third selection runs in the 210, it's the EBF Phillies Mile. And there's some decent animals in this. They've all got very good form. The favourite's likely to be Creative Flair from the Charlie Appleby Yard. But the one I think they're going to all beat is a big improver. Trained by John and Thady Gosden, again ridden by Frankie de Torre, and that's Delta Bay. She is from the family line of the great Bella Calora who was, of course, trained by the great late Sir Henry Cecil. And this one made all at Newmarket the other day, and I think just had a little bit up her sleeve. She looks like she'll improve. The ground that day uh, wasn't really 100% suitable for her. She will love the ground at Ascot today. And she's my third selection. And horse and number four, Delta Bay for me, wins our Phillies race at 2.10. Have a fantastic day's uh, racing at Ascot. A few owners are allowed along, but of course, some of us will be watching on TV. So let's hope you back plenty of winners and have a cracking day.